what? No looks there where one would light. Those are our awful. Return to traditional values. Is this the game to liking? Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister, were you still a virgin. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks, gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? That's my news aches something horrible. Roach likes carrots. Maybe Unicorn will too. This is an outrage. An outrage, I tell you. It's Roach won't eat bread either, except if it's stale. Fair. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Listen, I didn't break any rules. True, he won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. are huge. You'd be better off on horseback. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. King Cormorant, sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain, I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. A key. Why, you bomb botch <laughs> He ruins the game! Disgraceful. It's 
positively useless. She can't possibly see me. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt! At last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Let's see. Groan. With ease gives us green, right? And mouse with the head of hard cheese. Greenhouse? You're a genius. Several greenhouses in the gardens, indeed. But only one of the key to which looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is there. Let's go. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxa who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've put one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? No. I intend to live happily ever after.
well to stay where you are. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself! No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Seem pretty damn sure of that. I am, because I know him very well. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are woke to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda, hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, 
He prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that it'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachaise Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Around here, it's wine and more wine, but me, I prefer brandy. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Here in Beauclair, all right. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I 
birds of Vithia. Sir! Come to me, please! Approach! Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. What have you got there? So long. Band. Music to a smithy's ears. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolmevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldoran. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Footprints. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. The professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elrin and Dolmevde, Valley of the Nine. Around here, it's wine, wine, and more. Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Some tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the land was lay. Need to explore the location. Do you poke her too, Gerald? Come on.
something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. wonder what surprises this place has in store. Spikes. Sick sense of humor someone's got.
doors. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. something like that myself. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Gargoyle sure don't look willing to help. Mm, impressive. It's just decoration. started. Damn it. Back where I started.
to find the next portal. Right? How to find the next portal. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Just need to pick an entry. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witcher as my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity.
observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumen will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Crystal for this entry is missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. But I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength. Rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Moreau must have kept his son in here. Grim. Quite the library. Mostly tones on mutations and genetics. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Seen enough.
intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Just need to pick an entry. In the Seen enough.
intriguing as machine Fresh officers mutagens might have when I started thinking on his son. Well, time to find out. Cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Regis! Damn it. Locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it. Gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here.
agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliché can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlove wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Hmm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Abraxa had taken an interest in it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kobinaris' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy at Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovinarius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it. Just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Covinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Dedloff's hideout. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen, and the ornamentation. It comes from our home, where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here, guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely and the reason why I, in turn, gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Can't you just summon Detlaf? You're both higher vampires, there's gotta be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh... There is a being who can summon Detlaf, possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being, well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. 
There's my moon glands, but closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. I'd rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Was that a raven rather a common sight at this latitude very intelligent fowl i asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned him and his brethren perhaps they'll find one in the area and i would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would with all due respect your skills my friend it will take them some time nonetheless so perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Everyone's got some secret. I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets, unburden oneself to those one can trust. This your sophisticated way of asking me if I trust you? I prefer almost always to ask you directly. It seems a test of intelligence, one you've just passed. Hmm. Maybe you should go first, reveal one of your secrets. After all, you vampires lead very interesting lives. Anything in particular interest you? Curious what you did after you were reborn. Well, as I'm sure you can surmise, but first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, Sir Dash. For what have you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after, and when the time was ripe, she came back, defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh, seemed I certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough, but it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. Gotta ask you the big question, one everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well-founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt... Something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. If not for Detlaf, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh, 
experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's... It's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate? Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves, but, but I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. For a bit, but Triss helped me get it back. Actually, pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living hire vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. All right, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? See, you're determined to get an answer, to find out if I like being a witcher. Just refuse to ask directly, as always. I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much. But I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. vigilant even in his sleep quite vampire like in fact are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses appreciate the compliment got something for me you were right 
No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or, uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt, I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse in one place. That a coincidence? Or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its brews. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend.